Hello friends, this video on fractions part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us quickly see how do we convert improper fractions into mixed fractions. So here on the screen we have three examples of improper fractions. So the first one is 7 divided by 5. So what we do, we actually start dividing 7 by 5. That is, we consider the denominator as the divisor. So we consider the denominator as the divisor, right? And the numerator, of course, becomes the dividend. And then you start dividing. So 5, 1 is a 5. So what is the remainder? You have 2 as remainder. So 2 is your remainder. And 1 is what? 1 is the quotient, right? So once you divide this, and then what you do in order to convert this 7 by 5 improper fraction into mixed fraction, you can write it as 1, 2 by 5. That is the remainder, that is the quotient. So 1 is the quotient. So this quotient represents the whole number part. That is how much whole number you have out of this number. So 1 represents the whole number part and then the remainder divided by divisor gives you the fractional part. So this is how we convert improper fraction into mixed fraction. So the simple concept is that whenever you have a mixed fraction, just write it in this form. Quotient which is the whole number part and then remainder by divisor which is the fractional part. Let us try it out with these two examples. So 5 by 3. So denominator becomes divisor. So obviously you put the numerator here. So 3 1s are 3 and then 2 is the remainder. So 2 is the remainder, 1 is the quotient and 3 is the divisor. So in this case we can say 5 by 3 is equal to 1, 2 by 3. So this is how you would convert 5 by 3 into mixed fraction. In a similar way, what about 11 by 8? Here also the same thing. You divide it, so 8 ones are 8. The remainder is 3. So this is the remainder, this is the quotient. So therefore, 11 by 8 is equal to 1, which is the whole number part, and 3 by 8, which is the fractional part. So in this fashion, we can convert all the improper fractions into the mixed fraction. Now, how do we do vice versa? That is, how do we convert mixed fraction to improper fraction? So, for that purpose, we have taken three mixed fractions here. And let's see how do we convert them to improper fractions. Now, here you need to remember one very simple thing. Multiply these two and then add these two. So, basically, you need to go in the clockwise direction like this. So, what you have to do? Multiply 9 and 7. So 9 into 7 you multiply and then you add to their product 1. So basically you are moving in the clockwise direction like this. And then 9 into 7 plus 1 and denominator remains the same. So in this case also the denominator of the fractional part is 9. So the denominator remains the same. Now solve this 9 into 7 is 63 plus 1 divided by 9. That is 64 divided by 9. So this is an improper fraction. So 64 by 9 is the same as this. In a similar way in this case also multiply these two and then add this. So you can remember it like this, mad. What is mad? First multiply, then add. So multiply, add. So that, that's how you can remember this. So 6 into 2 plus 5. So first multiply, then add. That's mad. Divided by the denominator, which is 6. So here it would be 12 plus 5 divided by 6, which is equal to 17 by 6. So 17 by 6 again is an improper fraction. Now, if you want to understand the logic behind why are we doing this, why are we multiplying this and adding this, that's because in the previous slide I told you, right, what is this? What is this 2? This 2 is nothing but the quotient. And what is this 6? This is nothing but the division. And what is this one? The top one. This is the remainder. Now, by the uh, logic of division. Now, when you have learned division in your junior classes, you would have learned that the dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Now, in this case, also the same thing is happening. In this case, looking at the mixed fraction format, we know that the whole number part is the quotient. 
we also know that the numerator of the fractional part is the remainder and the denominator of the fractional part is the division. So these three we know. So what we don't know, we don't know the we don't know the dividend. That is the number which is getting divided by the divisor. So that is what we don't know. And how do we find that divisor into quotient plus remainder? That is what we are doing. Divisor into quotient plus remainder. And in the denominator, we have the divisor. That's because that is how we had done the uh, previous conversion, right? So you have the dividend above and you have the divisor below. So that's why we are keeping the denominator as the divisor. So that is the logic behind why are we doing this, right? So in a similar way here also remember MAD first multiply then add. That's it. So 9 into 8 plus 4 divided by 9. So 9 is 72 plus 4 divided by 9. So 72 plus 4 is 76 divided by 9 which is an improper fraction. So in this fashion we have been able to convert all the mixed fractions into improper fractions. So therefore, we can say that the mixed fraction is written as an improper fraction in the following way. Whole into denominator plus numerator divided by the denominator. So this is another way of writing the same thing. Divisor into quotient plus remainder. So divisor is what? So divisor is the denominator. So divisor is the denominator. Quotient is the whole. The whole number part. And numerator is the remainder. So basically divisor into quotient plus remainder divided by division. So that is how we convert mixed fraction into improper fraction. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.